Hi guys, so today I'll be making mashed potatoes and steamed cabbage mashed potatoes, steamed cabbages, sorry, <laughs> cabbages. And uh we're going to cook with a stew of beef stew. So this is beef, fresh a fresh cut. We which I've washed, I like washing my beef, and then I'm just gonna boil it and until the the water until the water dries out and then i am going to i am going to boil my potatoes So here are my potatoes, they are freshly chopped and yeah, I did cut them into big pieces to avoid them staying on the stove for a bit for a long time. And I'm adding like a liter of water. Okay. And so yeah, that's about it. And then we let it uh We'll let it boil until it cooks through. Once again, as I said, my stove top uh, is electric, but it keeps shocking me. If you know a way of stopping that, I'll be grateful. So that's why I use matchsticks nowadays. So yeah, we're gonna let this both of this cook. So, potatoes and the beef, nothing much to it as per now. Then I'm gonna assemble my the things for the cabbage still, the, st the steamed cabbages and then I'm gonna come back in a few minutes. So guys I'm back, I have assembled my pot and I've put some oil and some butter just a little bit and so I'm gonna put like a little bit of my already chopped onion just a little bit because you have to remove some for the beef and then I'm gonna let it just sweat out for a bit that's it, we're just sweating this out. The, the onions, that's it. And I used blue band, it was the last bit of it, so I have some more. And then don't forget to put to low heat. That's how it looks like. Remember, sweating it out. So now it's done. I hope you can see it. Like so. Alright. So and the the beef is boiling. Alright. Okay, so I'm gonna put the cabbages now. It's cabbages with carrots, grated carrots. Remember, we're trying to make the whole meal in a matter of minutes. Okay, that's why we are using all the stoves.
Because that's my son going outside. So. So if the pot is cool because of cabbages, don't sweat it because it's going to it's going to go down in a bit. So that's our finished product. As for now, we're gonna let it steam out and then in low heat, and then we're going to be able to, you know, turn it. For the now, we are going to spill. So yeah, a few minutes and I'll be back. So I'm back to turn the cabbages. It's been like around three minutes, roughly, or less. <laughs> And if you feel like yours needs a little bit more of the butter, it's okay. You can totally add. You can definitely, definitely add to suit your taste buds. Um, the reason why I'm not adding a little bit too much of butter here is because when I'll be turning, when I'll be mashing the potatoes, I'll add butter over there. So I don't want all my dishes to have a lot of butter in them. And also, we're not cooking this through, we're just uh, sweating them out. We want them to remain crunchy. Yeah. As you can see, they look amazing. So an update on the beef, it's almost done, as you can see, I think it's, it's okay now, now it needs to be moved closer to me. Keep forgetting it's hot. So I've interchanged. This one doesn't need a lot of my attention. This is the cabbages, like this one. So I've interchanged. So yeah. I hope you can see like so. So I'm gonna add like one spoon one spoon of oil a little onion that we will left we're gonna let that cook for a bit so as you can see it's already oiling which is good the cabbages themselves 
they are good, don't forget to add a little bit of salt. So I'm going to add just a little bit. And then stop for like a minute or less. Done. I believe the cabbages are done. So now to the beef, right? So we add, we'll be adding the tomato just a little bit. I had a little bit because I used my tomato And wait for the tomatoes to cook, then we can add the tomato paste. I use this one, the Kenilon. Kenilon. Don't know if you can see it. Yeah. So, guys, I had forgotten. I had. Garlic and ginger paste, so I'm adding it in there. So I'm gonna try it. And now it smells amazing because of the ginger and the garlic, which is also good for your health. Then we're gonna let it simmer for a bit. Now we're gonna add a spoonful of the tomato paste and let it cook also. On low heat and on the other end the potatoes are done yay that they look like they're almost done which is quite fast but yeah we're gonna wait and see Everything looks amazing. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the nutmeg, some black pepper. I like black pepper. Some cube. This one I put half mainly because. It's a little bit too salty, and so I'm gonna watch uh, the salt that I'm gonna put in because of it. So if you put uh, the whole one, it takes a lot of food. We are cooking, as you can see. I've, um, I've done a little bit of the beef. Then you put some water. Mm. 
you let it cook through yeah and also don't forget to put the right part it makes the this is right part it makes the steer a little bit thicker And that's it for the beef. So we're gonna let it cook and we're done. The steamed cabbages are ready. The beef is ready after it cooks for a bit. And yeah, we're gonna wait now for the potatoes to cook. So, you can see. This is how it looks like, but I'm gonna sub it and you're gonna see it. Sorry, I'm not used to this, but I'm really trying. In case you were wondering which beef cube I was saying it's a little bit salty, it's this one the Kent Beef Boilon. <laughs> Yeah, so I bought it for I think 60 shillings, this one, and it's a pack of six. So yeah, that is it. So the potatoes are boiling, the beef is ready, the cabbages are ready. Now these ones are almost ready, I want them to be, you know, well done. And then now I'll drain off the excess water then i'm gonna just mash them with butter and that's that's it so yeah so the potatoes are cooked yeah, as you can see they're easy to mash and by the way i've saved the, the 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 water from the potatoes you can use it in other stews or even if you feel like the 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 mashed potatoes are too dry you can add it in all right and along the way use a little bit of butter all right. so don't worry that's my cooking butter so i had already put it aside just in case you're wondering if i'm using the same spatula for the whole butter and I think I'm gonna do this offline because my phone is gonna fall off, okay? So yeah. So this is the end product as you can see, it's very pretty. I didn't mash as in everything like as you can see there's some character in it. Yeah, so it's good. So I'm gonna show you how I sub it. So here is the food ready and served as you can see the mashed potatoes the cabbages and the beef see how the beef looks it's really nice the cabbages they're not that uh, cooked and the the mashed potatoes and oh i forgot to tell you i added a little bit more of the uh, butter because I like my mashed potatoes with a little bit more of butter and I did add a little bit of the remaining the, the water that I had removed and the rest I'm gonna put it in the fridge uh, I can cook with it uh, some other time like in my stews and whatever when I need like stock so yeah that's it for today this is our Sunday dinner and i hope you you'll enjoy my video so stay tuned bye bye